Hello and welcome to Great Learning. In this video, we will be explaining the different aspects of data science, including what data science means, how data science is shaping different industries, why is it important, and most importantly, what are the different steps involved in the whole data science process. So let's begin. So why is data science and the analytics industry growing so rapidly? In 2019, the analytics industry has grown to $3.03 billion in size and is expected to double by 2025. Overall, the analytics industry currently accounts for almost 21% of the whole IT industry in India. If you look at the adoption of data science in different industries, you would see that finance and banking contributes to most of it. So what is data science? Data science is the study of data. It involves developing methods of recording, storing, and analyzing data to effectively extract useful information to make informed decisions. The goal of data science is to gain insights and knowledge from any type of data, both structured and unstructured. Data science is being used across different industries already. With the advancements in predictive modeling, data scientists can help predict the outcomes of disease given the historical data of the patients. With data science, banks can manage their resources efficiently and make smarter decisions through fraud detection. In the transport sector, data science has actively been used in the automation of self-driving cars. The applications are numerous and this is just the beginning. Now let's see what are the different stages involved in the data science process. Step 1. Define the problem. Before you get into data, you need to first define what your business problem is. What are you trying to achieve and what are the different parameters on which your end results depend on? To give an example, suppose you are the owner of a multi-brand retail chain. You want to add product lineups for your customers. But which product would make the most sense to the end user? To decide upon a product, you must understand which of the existing products make more sense to your users, understand their psyche, their purchase behavior, and based on these parameters, shortlist the right product for your customers. Step 2. Obtaining the data. Based on the parameters defined in Step 1, pull out the data. This part of the process involves thinking through what data you'll need and finding ways to get that data, whether it's querying internal databases or purchasing external data sets. Collecting data takes 19% of the total time spent in the entire process. Step 3. Scrubbing, cleaning the data. This process is for us to clean and to filter the data. In this process, you need to convert the data from one format to another and consolidate everything into one standardized format. A few common things to check are 1. Missing values 2. Corrupted values, such as invalid entries 3. Time zone differences 4. Data range errors Data cleaning itself takes around 60% of the time for the entire process. Step 4. Exploratory data analytics First of all, you will need to inspect the data and its properties. Different data types like numerical data, categorical data, ordinal data and nominal data, etc. require different treatments. The next step is to compute descriptive statistics to extract features and test significant variables. You will have to look at some of the most interesting patterns that can help explain why sales are reduced for this group. Step 5. Data Modeling Data modeling is the process of producing a descriptive diagram of relationships between various types of information that are to be stored in a database. Something as simple as an online transaction can be broken into items sold, user demographics, time of sale, etc. One of the goals of data modeling is to create the most efficient method of storing information while still providing for complete access and reporting. Data modeling is a crucial skill for every data scientist. Step 6. Data Visualization Data visualization is a graphical representation of any data or information. Visual elements such as charts, graphs, and maps are the few data visualization tools that provide the viewers with an easy and accessible way of understanding the represented information. It allows you to easily grasp information, establish relationships between elements, intuitive, personalized, updatable data. Now, let's cover the top five skill sets required to become a data scientist. SQL tops the chart, followed by Hadoop and Python. R is catching up too. Knowledge of these tools helps a data scientist derive a useful insight. So this was a brief introduction into data science. We hope you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel to receive regular updates about similar content.